Hello and welcome to Sons of Valhalla. This is a very cool game indeed. I've actually played this before on the channel. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And this is a pre-release build, so do bear in mind that there are going to be some bugs potentially. And if you do see some, that is not going to be representative of the final product. Otherwise, let's start a new game. As you can see, this was what I played on before, but this is an outdated... Um, outdated version, so we're going to play on a new slot right here, and we're going to be playing the campaign. So you obviously you can see here that if you complete the campaign, you can unlock the horde mode as well, where you can fight against countless waves of enemies, and so on. So it's basically like endless mode. We're going to play on normal. There are four difficulties, easy, normal, hard, and hell difficulty. Hell difficulty has these modifications. So yes, <laughs> it's very, very difficult. Where? Where am I? You are in Asgard, Thorold Olofsson. The realm of the Aesir. My name is Odin, Allfather and ruler of Asgard. Perhaps you have heard of me. That... yes, I have, Allfather. But how did I get here? Does this mean that death has come to me? Indeed. However, your time has not yet come. You have one more task to complete. Rhea! I have to go to her. She needs my help. It is your destiny to save her. I will support you in this. You will find runes on your journey. Long forgotten relics of the past. Many of these runes will improve your skills and those of your fellow combatants. I will give you the ability to detect these runes. You should also look out for altars and break their seals to release the runes of the gods. If you will allow me to ask a question, why are you helping me? Well, some gods think mortals are of no use or value, and that to help would be a waste of time. But I believe you can achieve great things, and possibly even save worlds, those of men and those of the gods. If you fall in battle, I will give you another chance. Valhalla will remain denied to you until you have fulfilled your destiny. But every death requires a sacrifice, so for each new chance, you must give up a rune you've collected, so everything stays balanced. However, I cannot take away divine runes and the skills they gave you. Here, I'll give you a rune and a rune socket. Take it. The Bifrost on your left will bring you back. Good luck. Alright, so we got this. We got a Bident, which allows the fisherman to catch more fish. And let's add that to our... Uh, can I can I add that? Can I, There we go. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I had to use the mouse for that. <laughs> I didn't realize. All right. Yeah, that's great. Good start. Good start. Hello, Heimdall. Yes, let's go down there. All right. So here we go. So obviously, as you might expect, we have a classic Viking on our hands here. So we've got the ability to throw spears and obviously open crates. Yes. There we go. Let's uh, let's uh, let's get one of these. What's this do? Running out of space, an additional bag allows you to take more rations with you. There we go. All right, not too bad. And we can now enter gate. Well, I don't actually need to do anything with that. And we can also build. And we can take a look at this guy. As you can see, you can enter the mead hall there. You can even pet. Look at that. You can pet the dog. Yes, that is what we like. Thank you. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, so we can just enter the gate there. And obviously, as you could tell, there is a map down below here. And you can see where the enemies are. So these are enemies right here. Obviously, they're going to be attacking me. And we can attack them however we like. And bear in mind, we've got pretty good skills by the looks of things. I've got a lot of HP. So that's something to bear in mind. I do have a lot of HP, which means I can make mistakes. I can make quite a lot of mistakes, apparently. And we're not going to have too many issues actually dealing with the opponent, hopefully, at least. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to be a bit careful here, actually, all things considered. Yeah, they actually do pretty good. <laughs> they actually do pretty good damage. Hilariously enough, I think they do more damage when you are facing away from them. As you can see, I actually almost died, which is pretty bad. I don't have any way of healing myself right now, but as you can see, there is also a dodge functionality as well. Let's restock our equipment here. 
and there we go and now i am back up to full hp so well, let's uh, let's actually have a look here so yeah as you can see look at this we need to collect gold to be able to upgrade ourselves so you can see here i can increase my health and my stamina and we can upgrade nearby buildings as well and there's also a, uh, a bunch of fishermen here, as far as I'm aware, and they are going to enable you to do certain things. They can give you uh, extra pieces of equipment and so on and so forth. So, for example, I can get a fishing hut here. So fishermen will provide you with food to train more units. Archery range trains people, barracks and so on and so forth. I think I'm probably going to get a barracks roundabout here. It's probably a good idea because we don't actually have anything like that right now. And we're otherwise going to be getting... Uh, we could train a swordsman, as you can see. So we could probably train a swordsman. I'm going to probably... Uh, you know what? I really want to get shields for our swordsman, but I currently don't have the ability to do that. So we're just going to go for... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do we want to go for? Actually... Can we do? Yeah, we can do these, but then I'm not going to be able to actually summon them. So I'm just going to summon a whole bunch. Unfortunately, I'm going to need another upgrade. I'm going to need to be able to... Wait a minute. I can upgrade the Mead Hall. Yes, but I'm going to need more silver for that. And I'm going to need to build something else over here. There we go. Okay, is there a way that I can increase my population? to train more units no we'll produce wood yeah i mean obviously that's that's pretty useful more food huh actually not entirely sure i guess we'll go for the fishing hut and we'll see how that goes we can obviously restock equipment i'm gonna need more silver here yeah okay fine fine um so yeah basically what we can do is we can obviously tell these guys to follow me as well there's the fishing hut, so we can up upgrade that too. Uh, production, yeah, okay, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, so as you can see, now that I built the fishing hut, I now have extra space for fish. So that's actually really, really nice. And we can now do damage to these guys once again. Gonna have to be a bit careful here. Seems like two slashes, and then I have to run away. There we go. Not too bad. And as long as I can get a pretty decent amount of silver here, I should be pretty good. And I'm going to just continue going for the... Uh, I think strong attacks are probably pretty good for us here, right here. I mean, you can see I'm, I'm doing some pretty decent damage. Not too bad. We could potentially tell my forces to come over here, actually, as well. Because there is the, the... You can actually do that. You can lead your, your troops into battle. But I kind of wanted to leave them as... Um, as de defensive people, so I'm thinking maybe that's a better idea, but I am going to get absolutely murdered if I am not careful. As you can see, I'm taking some pretty significant damage. I can heal myself like so, as you see right there, and we can even throw this at this guy if we want. Boom. <laughs> that was actually some nice damage. Wow, I was not expecting such good damage right there. Okay, I don't really want to die. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to run away from this. Let's restock our equipment. That's going to get us back up to full. And yeah, my forces are all perfectly fine. So as you can see, we now have this menu. So I can obviously bring this menu up at any time by holding shift. And this is really, really cool because you're able to do this as i said at any time and so you could basically say follow me in melee follow me mercenaries follow me siege weapons follow me ranged you can even say attack to all of these various people so for example let's say that i just want them to attack we can tell them to attack straight away and boom that's exactly what they're going to do we can tell them we can tell all the rest to do that as well so we can tell them to do that individually so if we don't want um if we don't want all of them to do that then we can obviously do that if we do want specific units to do that then we can obviously tell them once more to do that individually so it's actually pretty crazy how much control you actually have really really pretty awesome so otherwise what we're going to do is we're just going to yeah they're just shoot that guy there we go he's dead thank you and there we go shoot him and now let's do some damage get him kill him thank you yes get out of there all right nice Okay, we are very, very good right now, and hopefully we're going to be able to open that crate, get me some more silver. Oh, there's a scarecrow. Are you serious? Get out of here. Get out of here. That is a that is a boss if ever I saw one. Let's get out of here. Thank you very much. I'm probably going to have to recruit some more troops. Actually, do I? Yeah, probably. 
Okay, um, yeah, is it, can I repair this? Yes, I can, there we go, repairing. Okay, so that's repaired. And I am, uh, I'm a bit worried now, actually. I'm a, I'm a little bit worried right now. But we can now upgrade our meat hall because I have enough. So let's upgrade that, there we go, boom. That's now being upgraded, and now we're going to have additional build sites, as you can see right here. So then we're going to be able to get additional things. So the woodcutter is probably what I'm going to go for right now, uh, because we need the we need the wood. I mean, pretty obviously, right? We need the wood, and we can also increase the units. Uh, can be stationed in the lookout or decrease the number of units. No, I don't really think I need to do much about this here. The lookout is unlocked. Your units can enter it at any time. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And we can also enter here and we can also upgrade this as long as we have enough wood to do so. All right, yeah. Well, I don't really need anything like that at the moment. I do need to... I'm, I'm really wanting to upgrade my melee units. So I'm kind of thinking right now that I'll go for increased attack speed or hit points. What do we want? I think attack speed. I think attack speed sounds pretty fun to me. And then we'll just, uh, we'll get a bunch of them trained up. And there we go. That's basically all I can do. Unfortunately, we, oh, we can get another building up here as well. Okay, I think the best thing for me next is to probably, you know, technically what I should have done was actually build the barracks on the other side. Um, so if I actually would have done this, you know, if I, if I, if I could do this again, I'd do it the other way around where we'd have the, um, the fisherman's hut on the other side that would have made a huge huge difference to our overall effectiveness but oh well it doesn't really matter so much these guys are dodging me look at that they're actually dodging me it's pretty that's pretty impressive all right so yeah <laughs> let's just move forward then and make our presence known yes don't uh, are you actually going to use that siege weapon against me oh wow oh oh that actually hit me okay that's pretty funny all right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just heal myself real fast. I'm a bit worried about this guy, actually, I've got to say. Okay, get him. There we are. Okay, now the Scarecrow is obviously going to be the main problem here. Let's just kill that guy real fast. Okay, it, yeah, I'm shooting him in the leg. Okay, he's not an adventurer, so he's probably not going to be particularly perturbed by that, is he? No, he's not going to have any issues with dealing with that. And I'm just going to have to deal with these guys because, let's face it, we need to make sure that they do not um, cause us any problems. They are actually going to be causing us some pretty big ones. Oh, he, he hit me in the, in the face. Did you see that? Okay, you know, I do not want to die. I do not want to die right now. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to literally just heal myself real fast. And then we'll see if we can maybe do a little bit of extra damage. I can't believe that they actually hit me like that. That is insanity. Okay, let's get him. Nice. Now we can maybe do some ad additional damage with our ranged attack right here. And thankfully the Scarecrow doesn't really want to fight that much. So I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, the dodge is super, super responsive, by the way. Super loving that, actually. I love that, I think, a lot more than the other thing. Uh, ooh, performing a light attack will be able to do critical damage. Yes, give me that. Thank you. That is great. That is really, really nice, actually. Okay, that is wonderful. Now let me just go back and get some, uh, get some additional things. And bear in mind, you've got to be, um, you've got to be pretty careful here. Yeah, th there we go. They need to be trained. Go upgrade your, go upgrade your fighters. Yeah, that. Oh, I mean, that's what I was planning on doing. Thank you very much. I was planning on doing that. There we go. Okay, so let's upgrade their hit points as well. Oh, I can't actually do that yet. I need a little bit more fish, please. There we go. Upgraded them. I uh, still do not have any additional fish. So we're going to have to just wait until we have the ability to do that. I think these guys are going to give me a uh, little bit of a bonus. Do they actually give me a bonus? Yep, there we go. They gave me silver and some fish and some wood. Okay, so it doesn't actually give me as much as I thought, but it's fine. It's fine. We, we're going to be okay. You know, we've just got to take our time here. You know, it's not a, not a thing that you can really rush. And what we're going to have to do is I think we're going to need more more fish, to be honest. I mean, my forces are not doing particularly well as it stands right now. Okay, here we go. Let's go over here. There we go. Yes, that's all I wanted to do. I want to loot this chest. Nice. Okay, let me see. Oh, look at that. Melee fighters will be able to attack enemies 20% faster. Oh, yes. And I also got a rune socket as well. That's good. Okay, I'm just going to basically do this. There we go. 
This is very effective so far. Nice. Get him. Yeah. Whew. Okay, that was a bit close. A bit close for my liking, but we got him. All right, let's do it. Um, I don't really want to... I do want to kill this guy if I can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, his melee attack does actually do a pretty significant amount. But thankfully, we can tell when he's about to do his special because he actually uses his energy. And his special is like kind of like this, I don't know, AoE thing. So I, I should be perfectly fine with it. Let's just drink some of this to get some of my stamina back. He should be going down anytime. Yeah, get him. Get him. I just want to try and continue. Oh, there we go. Thankfully, he doesn't do too much damage with this. And I am able to heal myself relatively easily. However, obviously, it's a pretty big boss for us to fight here. Maybe I should charge up. Oh, nice. There we go. Arrows will be replenished. Uh, faster. Look at that. 30% faster, actually. Very nice. Okay. Let's continue onward. And I should be able to defeat these guys without too many issues. Should be really easy, actually. Nice. Nice. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. There we go. Alright. And now we just have to deal with these guys. Really? Do we have to really deal with these guys, too? This is crazy. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We got this. We got this. We are a beastly viking sent by Odin to do his bidding. And to do his bedding as well. <laughs> uh, which of these fellows wants to be bed? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not, let's not go there, shall we? Let's not go there. There's a chicken right there. Let's not do it. Okay, come on now. Yes, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, let me just drink, uh, I mean, eat, drink, you know, ink, drink, uh, ink, drink, that's what I was about to say, no, let's not do that. Drink, eat, and be merry, I was about to say. Okay, let's do this. I need to kill this guy. Can I actually shoot up there? I don't think so somehow, right? Oh, nice damage, though. Nice damage coming in from this. Okay. I actually wonder, is it better for me to do the the, uh, the big attack, or is it better for me to just... I think it is better to actually do the strong attack. I think. Could be wrong about that. Whoa, nice damage. Uh, unfortunately, these guys actually... Uh, well, the barricade actually stops me from moving, so that's obviously a bit of a problem, isn't it? And I don't have enough uh, stamina to actually do the... <laughs> To actually do the strong attack. Uh, well, that's a bit of a... That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Okay, don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you. If I die, I have to give up a rune, which I definitely do not want to do. Thank you very much. I'm just going to continue attacking him normally this way. And we'll just... I actually don't know. I can't tell right now what is more powerful, but... Well done. There we go. We've taken the first outpost. Wonderful. Yes, stand by the flag to enter the outpost. If you want to rebuild, simply walk to the position. Mercenaries are powerful units. They're not cheap, but they're worth it. For every captured outpost, you can hire a mercenary. Okay, that's great. And we can also now enter the watchtower, which is actually hilarious because I was literally destroying this thing the entire time, and now we have the ability to do that. Okay, so now we can enter the farm, and we can actually train a mercenary, I assume. The field medic heals your units during combat. That actually may be very, very cool. Um, yeah, I got, I'll go for that. Unlocks the ability to use a supply warehouse in this outpost. Sure, let's do that. Trade 50 food with this location. I don't really need to do that either. Thank you. Now we can restock uh, equipment anytime that we want to be here. And we can also enter the gate. Let's repair that. And what is this thing? Use the altar. Ah, it's one of those altars that Odin was talking about. Okay, this adds... Oh, wow. Okay, there's a bunch of extra abilities here. I can't currently... Um, select any of those so we're just gonna have to uh, do this the old-fashioned way Ooh, that is a super nice ability 80 percent additional damage with a light attack okay hold down this followed by that to form a shield dome then release either button to create a powerful shield wave or this attack adds damage to your opponent through your rotating sword during the dodge roll that might be fun gives you the ability to shoot a powerful standard arrow hold the f button until the force builds up completely okay i'll go for roll attack because i find that the most fun However, I think all of these are really, really good. 
Um, at least I think they're really, really good. So we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe what I've taken is absolutely terrible, and we'll find out very shortly that it is actually terrible. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, now these guys are going to obviously... You know, oh, it actually does good damage. It actually does good damage. The the uh, rolling ability does a lot. Um, as you can see, look at that. We just killed these guys without even, without even attacking them. Look at that. It does so much damage with the roll through. Pretty good. Because that just dramatically reduces the amount of time that I have to spend doing anything like that. Oh yeah, by the way, I should really go. I should really go back to my base. Oh, thank you, Field Medic. You're healing me. Oh, I very much appreciate that, sir. All right, so let's open the fast travel, and we're just going to travel backwards. And this is what's really cool about this game now. You actually have the ability to just completely skip this area. So you could just go, you know, wherever you want, basically. So it's really, really nice. Okay, upgrade the building. And then we're going to build a bunch of soldiers. I'm going to tell them to charge in. And obviously, I do want to actually have them be able to use shields. I can do that now. As you can see, look at that. We can now do this. This is going to be extremely expensive, but very much worth it, in my opinion. And now we can get another one of these swordsmen. There you go. And I can also upgrade this. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to do that yet because I need to upgrade my, um, well, basically every single thing that I have available here. I need to upgrade my fisherman's hut and I need to upgrade the uh, woodcutter's hut as well. So which one do we want to do? Well, I can do either one. Shall we upgrade the fishing hut first? Yeah, why not? Okay, we'll upgrade the fishing hut first, and then we'll just move on. Uh, yeah, actually, speaking of moving on, I don't even need to move on because there is a fast travel point back here, so I should probably use that instead, shouldn't I? That's going to make it a lot easier for us to get onto the front lines. Yes, there we go. We're already here. And look at, look at my enemy. Oh, no, the enemies are actually winning. They're doing massive damage to my friends. That is not very good. Thank you very much. Get out of here. Look at my damage, though. You see how much damage I can actually deal with this insane ability? Really nice. Love it. Really, really fantastic, actually. Because look at this. Look at how many enemies I just killed with very minimal effort. Very surprising, but super good. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I need some archers, actually, to go into the watchtower, to be honest. I think that's probably going to be my next port of call so if i actually have the ability to do so i would like to go back there there we go let's get into where where's the archery place did i not build one? Oh, i did not build one okay yeah well that's my mistake isn't it okay let's do that i wonder how long it's going to take for them to actually build it not long at all as you can see okay yeah let's get some archers how many can i get i can only get three well, that's a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? I was kind of hoping for a bit more than that. There we go. Let's get four of them. Uh, I'm actually wondering, I hope the soldiers actually do run over to the very far um, the very far hut so that we get assistance straight away. But I'm actually not entirely sure if they do. Um, as you can see, the enemy actually isn't even wanting to attack us right now, probably because they can't. Um because they're, they're going to have some issues actually defeating us at this point. Because my guy is very strong right now. I feel very strong, actually. My character feels pretty strong. So I'm, I'm liking that a great deal. And what's really cool about the dodge roll, actually, the dodge roll attack, that is, is that it's not, a, not like a sort of like brain dead ability where you just press space and it automatically does damage. There is a dead zone. So what I'm talking about is obviously the dead zone specifically being right on top of your character. So you can't just press space and then you know expect to do damage immediately. You have to be in a certain position for it to actually work. Which I think is cool because that obviously makes it a little bit more skill based than what it would otherwise be. So I'm obviously very much appreciating that. Because otherwise it's going to be way too simple, I suppose. Otherwise, yeah, come on now. Get, yeah, there we go. Get that guy dead. Nice. And we can get so much silver from these guys too. I'm actually thinking right now... Um, I'm thinking, you know what? Should I just go and... Should I... <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know what? Should we just build a siege engine or something like that? I feel like I should build a siege engine. 
Maybe that would make sense. We don't actually have the ability to build anything here right now, which is kind of a bit sad, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. Let's go back and, and we'll see. Maybe I can get some more... Hmm. We could upgrade our people, actually, quite a significant amount. We could get fire arrows relatively soon, actually. Um, you know what? No, no, no. We're going to go for some attack speed and range. And we'll go for some more archers here. A whole bunch more archers, actually. Loads, loads of archers. Loads of archers. Thank you very much. Many, many archers. And let's have a look. What do I need? I need 2,200. So I need to upgrade the wood woodcutter. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, let's upgrade the woodcutter for now. There we go. And then we are basically done. So now we can make our way back. And, oh, I love the fast travel. The fast travel is so incredibly useful. And here we go. All right, I'm pretty good here. And, uh, yeah, we... Well, we're just picking up so much loot here as well. Nice. Okay, so I can now technically do damage myself to this thing. But as you can see, the... Um, well, pretty clearly the tower is extremely difficult for us to eliminate. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm probably going to need to advance a little bit before we're able to get further in the level. All right, so we got a bunch of archers right here. So I think to myself, you know what? Let's go and attack with these guys. I'm not sure if they're actually going to do anything because they don't really have huge amounts of upgrades. I mean, they're actually pretty good. They're not as bad as the enemy's archers, I think. However, they don't have fire arrows yet, and I think that's probably going to make them, well, not as good as they could be. I could definitely return and upgrade them, but as you can see, they're doing massive damage as it is to the enemy's archers, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, unfortunately, the enemy's um, melee, melee attackers, they're probably going to be able to just completely destroy my archers, so I don't really want to leave them by themselves. But as you can see, they're probably not going to be particularly useful right here. So you know what? I think I'm actually going to say, follow me. There we go. I, I, there is no retreat function here. So I am I, I don't think there is a retreat function at least. So let's just ho tell them to hold position round about here. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, they're actually uh, believing what I'm what I'm doing. <laughs> Because I was a bit worried there for a second. I thought to myself, please, please, please think and and trust in in what I'm uh, what I'm saying here. And it seems like they indeed are, which is very nice. Okay, so do we still have the field medic? By the way, I actually have no idea whether we still have the field medic. I don't know. So uh, we could trade fifty food with this location, but I'm not going to do that because what we need to do is we need to go and upgrade the mead hall. As you can see, I finally have the ability to do that. There we go. And we're going to be building a blacksmith shop. This building allows you to recruit combat blacksmiths. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, that's great. That means that we can then uh, do more damage to enemies. And that's going to be wonderful. Um, yeah, so the blacksmith is going to require quite a lot of wood, actually, surprisingly enough. Um, so, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I would like to actually upgrade the woodcutter's building as soon as possible. I'm actually wondering, can, can I can I get more from the actual boat here? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Hmm, I really... You know what I really badly want to do? I actually want to get two woodcutter huts and two fishing huts. I'm one of those people in RTS games that likes playing the macro game. I like having a huge amount of resources with which to spend and, you know, build a massive stonky army. But obviously in this, yeah, you've got to be a little bit more strategic. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to go for the blacksmith, I suppose. And we're going to see what he actually does. Maybe he's, maybe he's good, maybe he's not. I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, so we can increase our hit points, increase our attack speed, increase our arrows. We can get flaming arrows. Um, how many flaming arrows can I actually get? I actually don't know. Or is this just a, a general upgrade? Maybe it's just a general upgrade? Okay, I've got a I've got a javelin. I'm I'm not entirely sure what that just did, but we'll get the combat blacksmith. And we can upgrade the blacksmith with two hundred wood, which should be actually gained relatively soon. But I'm kind of wondering, should I even bother upgrading this thing? Because I think to myself right now, you know what? Maybe it's a better idea for me to go over to the woodcutter's hut. 
and upgrade that instead because as you can see look at that i can now upgrade that to level three which is kind of insane oh yeah the enemy is obviously right on top of us right here so i'm actually going to go over and we're going to see if i can help them out a little bit oh no it seems like we're doing fine okay apparently i didn't need to come over here at all my forces are doing perfectly fine and uh, I'm now wondering, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I do want to attack, but we're going to have to wait maybe for the combat blacksmith to come over here. I mean, he's almost here, actually, surprisingly enough. He's, he seems pretty quick on his feet, so we should be fine. And, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I love the fact that you can actually um, decide where it goes, you know, elevation-wise. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so there's one thing I want to do. Not that. Where is where is the uh, where is the where's that menu again? Oh, I can't find the menu now. Isn't that wonderful? There is a menu that allows you to actually see. Uh, there it there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so if I hold down X, you can see that there's like a radial menu and that will allow you to select the various other ranged things that you have available. So I think that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's just attack. Let's go straight up and attack right here. And um, we are hopefully we're going to be okay. <laughs> uh, my combat blacksmith is hopefully not going to just die instantly. As you can see, he's going to do massive damage to this tower, or at least I can only hope he is going to. Wow, I'm taking massive damage myself. Come on, kill him. Kill, 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 kill that. Kill that. Kill the archer. Kill the archer. We really need these guys to kill the archers. They're not doing a particularly good job of that, actually, right now. Which is a little bit disappointing. Oh, my combat blacksmith was just killed. Well, that's sad. Hmm, I probably should have just continued, um, probably just continued leveling up the archers, to be honest. Get some, uh, get some fire arrows. I think that sounds like a much better idea. So let's actually do that. Let's get the fire arrows. There we go. Very nice. And then we could potentially increase, is this increasing the damage? Yeah, I guess this is the, the damage of the combat blacksmith. Do I... Or is this me? I, I don't know whether this is increasing my damage or not. Huh. Yeah, I'm actually not entirely sure. I guess I'll just increase the attack speed here, and I, I think it is me. I think it is me, so I, I, I guess that's kind of good, right? Okay, uh, replenishes health points. Uh, yeah, we, we can increase our stamina as well, increase our health. Okay, so gold is actually really important, and I just kind of wasted it on the javelin. So I probably should have um, <laughs> probably should have done something about that, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should have done something about that. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, let's move back over to this fast travel point. Are we doing okay right here? Are my forces doing okay? Yeah, they are doing fine. They're absolutely murdering everything. Whoa, they're doing a lot of damage right here. This is nice. A lot of really, really good silver here too. Unfortunately, I am going to... Yeah, I am going to need the siege engines... Okay, we're going to have to tell these guys to um, hold position, actually. No, not here. You imbeciles. Follow me. Follow me, you imbeciles. There we go. All right. So we're going to tell them to hold position round about here. There we go. And then we can go back. And we're going to, we're going to get the siege engine, of course. We're going to get the siege engine. But first of all, I kind of want to get these guys. Uh, how many can I get of those? Not many. Oh, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so Siege Engine is obviously going to make everything so much easier for us. So we're just going to go here, build the Siege Engine. There we go. And then hopefully we're going to be able to actually build some stuff because otherwise, yes, build the Catapult. Yes, I think I will build the Catapult. That sounds like a good idea. That's going to take quite a while, I believe. And the fishing hut, I need two... Oh, wow. Yeah, we need a lot of silver for that, unfortunately. Let's just restock our equipment real quick. There we go. And now we can go back. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Kind of makes me wonder whether the other upgrades would have been uh, would have been better. But no, I'm pretty good with this. Anyway, your units don't fear a battle. The only direction they're heading is forward. Attack speed and movement speed increase. Very nice. 
I like it. Okay, so if I can just continue to get a good amount of silver from these enemies here, I'll be pretty happy with that, actually. I wish these guys would actually come outside. It would be so nice if they, they would come outside so I could slaughter them, but, you know, they're obviously not wanting to do that. <laughs> of course they're not. Okay, let's tell them to attack now. Let's tell everyone to attack. We've got some shielded swordsmen now, so this might actually make the difference in how, um, you know, effective my offensive push here is going to be. And I'm hopeful that my forces, or should we say my archers, will actually be able to kill the enemy archer in the tower itself. They're doing a very good job of actually defending against enemy arrows. So I'm really, really pleased about that. Okay, where is the catapult? Is it still not been built? Oh, I think it's probably going to be really slow, isn't it? It is going to be really, really slow. I'm just going to let my forces just continue to attack here. And we're just going to go back and maybe upgrade something. I'm thinking I would like to upgrade myself, to be honest. But I don't think I can actually do that that much. Yeah, as you can see, I can't really do much. So what about this one? I can upgrade the fishing hut now as well. Let's do that. That is perfect. And then we could also upgrade this a little bit if we wanted to. We could get another one of these trained swordsmen if we wanted train a flaming archer or well, we could upgrade this hmm I don't know I don't know does that matter does this matter I don't know really I mean I could go for this but that's going to spend another 30 gold not a big fan of that actually I'm going to go for the barracks maybe uh, yeah why not let's go for the barracks we'll just upgrade that and then we will just train one more shielded swordsman. And that's basically it. We are now maxed out in this particular level, at least. And there's the siege workshop, obviously. Um, yeah, so the siege workshop has now just gone off. Increased attack speed and range. That's what we're going to go for. I can't, I can't currently do anything else. It seems like, as you can see, we are now losing some troops. So I'll probably do... Well, yeah, we're losing quite a few. So let's just do a couple of these couple of these there we go sounds good to me and now let's uh let's get going where, where is the where's the fast travel point there it is okay now let's have a look and see what is actually going on here okay yeah let's uh let's tell these guys to follow me because we obviously want to make sure that they stay alive for a little bit longer at least just a little bit and let's shoot this guy in the face boom there we go he's dead okay so now perfect here we go Let's now attack. attack. There we go. Everyone can attack, including the catapult. Perfect. All right. This is great. Now we are going to see the pure pushing goodness that is the catapult. Hopefully it is actually going to be relatively um, effective. I hope it's going to be effective at least. I can only assume it's going to be, right? Right? I'm not entirely sure what's happening with it right now. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, it's taking quite a while. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really do that much damage, unfortunately. Okay. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more myself. But, um, yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, dear. I do not want to die here either. Well, this would be a bit of a shame, wouldn't it? Okay. No, no. Just kill this. Kill this. There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay, this tower is just taking an absolute battering. There we go. We actually finally got it down. And now we can just do damage to the remaining units. Hopefully that is going to be enough for us to achieve victory. Technically, I'm actually not entirely sure what I could have done a little bit easier here. Maybe I could have made it... Could I have made it easier? Maybe I could have made it easier. That's the thing. I'm not entirely sure. What would have been easier for us right here? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Open the crate, open the barrel, open all this wonderful stuff. Wow, we're getting a lot of stuff right here. And we can obviously destroy the enemy's encampment. And I think that's probably going to be a victory for us. And then we can move on to the next level. And there you go, that's it. Fantastic. Or is it, actually? Wait a minute, can we capture this place? 
Yes, we can. There we go. <gasps> okay, never mind. I actually thought that was the finale, but no, it is not. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going to have to tell these guys to follow me. There we go. Your fighters seem to be too weak. Your fighters seem to be weak. Go and upgrade your... F really? Really? Are, are they? Are they really that weak? I didn't think so. I didn't think they were that weak, but all right. I guess they are, according to this guy. All right, let's let's um, let's get a barracks right here. Might as well, right? And uh, let's get a let's get a siege workshop. Should I get a siege workshop or should I get some? Oh, I don't know. Actually, I feel like getting some archers. Actually, to be honest, uh, nothing to repair here. I can pet the dog once again. <laughs> and uh, let's actually have a look. Is there anything else that I can do here? Well, we can obviously train these guys. Um, yeah, I can train two of those, and then the barracks. Uh, what do I actually need to do to upgrade these guys? Do I? Yeah, no, I just need to upgrade this. A mead hall upgrade is required. I thought I actually upgraded that as as much as I could. No, I, uh, I, okay, I need to upgrade this. All right, that makes sense. And then I can upgrade this. Right. Okay, I love the fact that the upgrades are not taking a huge amount of time to be done either, by the way. I think that's really, really nice. And there we go. Okay, so now we can continue to do damage. Let's do this. Nice. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wow, th these guys are actually really, really tough. They are much harder than before. And now we can tell these guys to just go in. I think that's that's perfectly fine for us right there. Okay, so let's get some uh, trained swordsmen here. I should probably get a couple more archers. Uh, I need to get 300 silver. I actually wonder whether the ship in the main base is going to come in any moment. There it is. Nice. Now I can upgrade the archery range as well. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, oh, 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 hello. There's a chest. Give me that. Performing a double attack will be able to do critical damage. Mm, not a big fan of this one, but it's okay, I guess. Okay, so obviously the archers are proving to be very annoying for our forces, but hopefully my catapult is going to do some good damage here. Okay, don't die now. Don't die now. I'm going to have to run away here. And we're probably going to have to tell these guys to follow me. Because I do not want them to die randomly, you know. And we do have a bunch of people back here as well, which we could potentially utilize. Okay, restock. Nice. Okay, so otherwise what we're going to do is we're probably going to get a siege engine here. And we're going to get... Well, I want 650, obviously. I definitely want 650. Unfortunately, I don't have enough. Just yet. And now we can tell these guys to attack. There we go. Tell every single one of them to attack. And we don't, we don't actually have enough, right? We don't have enough. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see. I could get another siege engine. Should I get another siege engine? A ram? Should I get a ram? Let's get a ram. Okay, it's probably going to be an absolutely huge waste because rams, in my opinion, are not going to be that useful because they're just going to die. You know, they're just going to run into the opponent and they're just going to die generally and that's going to be really sad and a huge waste of resources, but who knows? Maybe it's not. While being in your outposts, units will automatically be healed until reaching their max HP. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, now these guys are actually really hard, as you can tell. They're very difficult to eliminate. Is this a boss, actually? <laughs> it doesn't look like the boss, but it, it does seem to be pretty, uh, pretty hard to kill, all things considered. I haven't upgraded myself either, bear that in mind, so that might make a pretty significant difference to how... Oh, I just got I just got wrecked. Okay, I just got wrecked. I guess this does give us a good opportunity to take a look at the uh, at the death mechanics and see exactly what happens when this goes down. Ah, so we meet again, Thord Olafsson. Ah. All right. So obviously, we just need to now decide what we um, what we want to sacrifice. So basically, what I'm going to sacrifice it's pretty simple for me is this one. There we go. Take care of yourself, Thorold Olafsson. The Bifrost will bring you back. Oh, okay, that was easy enough. 
And now we're back and now we can actually start getting some additional troops and that's exactly what I'm going to do and well my ram is going to take an age obviously as you might expect and we're just going to spend our resources because that's generally the worst grievance that we can actually commit here where our resources are maxed out. We do not want them to be maxed out. We want them to be consistently below cap because if not we're just wasting our resources and that's really bad we do not want to waste resources if we can help it there's another chest here let's just open that up real fast and um, I'm actually not entirely sure where can I go from here it doesn't seem like anywhere so I'm just gonna kill the archers if I can nice um, we're gonna have to tell this guy tell, tell these guys to follow me uh, get out of here guys you're gonna die really really easily actually I don't want to die either get out of here oh dear this is bad Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Yeah, these guys are going to die. Pretty sure. Yep, he's dead. Oh, well, that's fine. As long as I can actually... Can I solo this? I don't, know. I don't actually know. I'm taking a lot of damage in the process. Oh, what? Did you see that? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's not particularly good. Wow, basically doing zero damage. <laughs> I'm doing no damage to them whatsoever. Okay, well, it's fine, it's fine, because we are now back here. Okay, we got the... Is the ram? Uh, the ram's almost done. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the ram, let's just say that. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to go for the advanced training right here, and then we'll just obviously restock ourselves. And then we want to get the archery range. I don't have any... I don't have any fish, really? I don't have any fish? That is terrible. Okay, so what else can I build here? I guess I can build the fishing hut. Because that's going to give me more fish, right? Does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's actually insane. That is really, really good, actually. All right, yeah, let's go for some more of these. Can, can we get more, please? Can we get more? I really, really want more fish. Please, can you give me some more? My forces are currently getting murdered over to the right here. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Oh no, my forces are actually doing reasonably well, surprisingly enough. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, yeah, just wait here, fellows. Just wait here, because I have a rune that heals you. So, as long as we stay in our outpost here, we should be fine. Alright, so I've just upgraded some of my stats. As you can see, it actually does take a little bit of time for that to actually begin working. However, once it kicks in, we're going to be so much more difficult to kill. Or at least I hope so, because we're going to have 40 HP instead of 30. That's a pretty significant increase. And hopefully my forces will actually stop killing themselves. I'm not entirely sure why they're, why they're taking so much damage, but... They do seem to be, don't they? Yeah, not so good, not so good. Okay, yeah, so apart from that, what I would like to do is I would like to go here and travel to this area first of all because I would like to hire the field medic. There we go. Nice. Done. All right, so now we can go back to the front lines. And hopefully once the field medic arrives, we should be able to do some... Oh yeah, we should be able to do some massive, massive things. Or at least hopefully. Alright, yeah. So obviously, uh, let's just wait for the fish to come in. There we go. There's another one of these. And let's just restock our equipment real fast as well. And there we have it. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm just going to wait until everyone is here. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I think everyone actually is here. Maybe. <laughs> I think so. I, I, I think so. I'm actually not entirely sure. But the, the medic is actually healing them right now. So maybe I should just let them do their own thing. For the moment. Oh, nice. I love the fire arrows. Very, very good. All right. Let's do it. Uh, let's go attack. There we go. Everyone should attack. 
Hopefully the medic is going to do a really, really good job for us right here. Because I'm very much hoping that he's going to just, you know, give us all the HP in the world. And I'm going to have to solo that boss, I'm pretty sure. I'm probably going to have to solo that boss. Or uh, at least, yeah, I mean, as you can see here, look at that. It's actually not even, I mean, look at that. We, we could probably, we could probably do this. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Oh, whew. Okay, I was a bit worried about that for a quick second. Okay, uh, oh, standard arrows will do double damage, but you will lose a certain amount of your maximum health. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it, but that sounds... It sounds pretty risky, actually, all things considered, but why not? Why not? Sounds fun. Okay, let's do it. Where's our, uh... Where's our ram, by the way? I think the ram is ages away or something like that but yeah anyway we are almost actually at our uh, at our destination actually can I can I capture this right here I think I can actually capture this right here let me just um, tell these guys to follow me follow me there we go okay can we capture this please or do I have to destroy I think I need to destroy the uh, the spikes or something do I do I really have to do that first? Might have to. Okay, that means I'm going to need to tell them to attack. Oh, they they actually do a lot of damage. The archers seemingly do quite a lot of damage. Or is it the is it the ram actually? <laughs> it might actually be the ram dealing damage. Anyway, there we go. We actually did manage to get this and we now have the ability to get yeah, the Hunter or the Pyromaniac. I think I'm probably just going to get the Hunter here. And we can obviously open the Fast Travel Point. And is there anything else that I can actually do here? Yeah, we can enter the Watchtower and actually just repair that so that it's back up and running. We have a Be lot sure of space. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Be sure to use your double attack. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. So we can also do this. Let's just repair that building. Repair all these. Just in case. You never know. It's going to be pretty important if we do end up losing the front line, shall we say. And where is my... I'm just going to tell them to attack. Yeah, there's the there's the hunter at the moment. Okay, hello there, sir. The god, Thorold Olufsen. Our paths cross once again. So tell me, what brings you to beautiful England? Save your breath. You know why I'm here. You kidnapped my wife and murdered my father. I can see you are vindictive. Your anger probably leaves no room for a greeting among men of honor. <laughs> You're not a man of honor. I ask you again, where is she? I must confess. I don't know. My job was to deliver her, and I did. I don't care what happened to her after that. Deliver? Who did you hand her over to? <laughs> the answer would seal my death. Bear with me that I care about something in my life. Wait! All right, there you go. That's it. We got a, we got a couple of answers right there. Or uh, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, your units will be able to dodge enemies with a forward roll. That sounds pretty fun, actually. Uh, I'm going to switch this one out. There we go. Sounds pretty good to me. And now we can just take care of business. Oh, yes. Hopefully the ram will actually get into range relatively soon, because no doubt is going to be absolutely doing massive damage. We've seen it do massive damage. And it seems very, very good at what it does. I just need to defend it. Get him, get, get him out of the way. Get him out of the way there. Thank you. Okay, now the ram. I'm actually wondering, you know what? I really want to go back right now. I really want to go back so that I can summon some more troops. Is it actually worth me going back, to be honest? Hmm. Somehow, I actually don't think so, but I'm going to do it nevertheless, just because... I have the ability to upgrade Remember ourselves to upgrade right here. Yep, I'm upgrading my buildings. Thank you very much. And we're just going to get these guys. There we go. Just get a bunch more archers. 
And then we are basically done. So now we can move on. And I think we're probably going to be fine. Oh yeah, we also have the medic, of course. Hopefully the medic will come along. Because I, I did manage... I think I saw him just before in that outpost right there that we were in. And obviously we still got our mercenary right here too. There we go. They actually already got through. Look at that. Look at how effective that was. They already got through here. Really, really nice. And this mercenary is actually doing super, super well too. So definitely... Definitely a good way to go. Definitely a good way to go. Actually getting those mercenaries recruited. What's this? Uh, uh, wood production. I don't really care about that too much. Enter Valgard's Hall. I guess I should do that, right? You should have left England while you could. Now your death is certain. Ah, oh, hello there, sir. All right. Well, he's going to he's going to try to murder me. Okay, that was uh <laughs> he actually did quite a lot there. I wish I'd actually replenished my supplies before I left. Oh dear. Well, this guy is a lot more difficult than anticipated. Let's just say that. Oh, wow. That is... Uh, okay, that's interesting. I don't have any more heals, by the way. she this woman she has brought me nothing but trouble where where is my axe my axe where is Rhea who paid you for the kidnapping speak you will kill me anyway so why should I help you you are right you will die but you can decide for yourself how it should be done Will you die with your axe in your hand and make your journey to Valhalla? Or shall I bury your parts all over England so that access to Valhalla will be forever denied you? Wait, all right. Agreed. Bishop Elmo told me to track down the woman. To get her to England at whatever price. So I made a plan. A raid on your village. It only happened because of her. Back in England, I gave her to Elmo and received a pile of silver in return. But I had to swear not to tell anyone about her. What are his intentions with her? I don't know, but I am sure that she is still alive. The reward was so lavish that she must be valuable to him. Where can I find him? Follow the river. On its shore, you will find a church. I hope you remember what you promised. Set 
meet a Valhalla. So, that's how it ends. Your Excellency, the Northmen are marching north. North? Heading straight for us? Indeed, Your Excellency. The scouts reported that their leader is searching for his Viking wife. Is that so? Well, bring me the woman. Now! For forgive me, Your Excellency. There has been an unfortunate incident. The Bloodhound. He took her away. What are you saying? It happened last night. We, we didn't have a chance, Your Excellency. Our men were overrun. Oh, God! Then bring me another one. This savage will not notice any difference. Of course, Your Excellency. It's just that the Bloodhound has taken all the women. What a useless bunch you and your men are. Bring that woman back. And do not come back without good news. I will take care of this savage until then. Of course, Your Excellency. Well, that is definitely a... Uh, we can now oh we can now build shaman huts ah oh, that's pretty cool i was about to say that is definitely a story and uh, otherwise that is going to be it for this episode if you would like to take a look at the game there is a link in the description i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>